how to remove green screen in iMovie on your Mac. If you are using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac, the steps are going to be same. Now for reference purpose, I have already created a green screen video over here. You can see the background is completely green. So let's open iMovie first. Uh, if you don't have iMovie, you can go in App Store and you can download it for free. Once you open iMovie, this is how the first page will look like. You need to create new project. So select this plus icon and then select movie option. After that, this will be the basic interface of your iMovie. This is where you can start your editing. Now, first of all, we need to import the files uh, from a Mac so that we can start editing. So you need to select my media option over here and you can select this down arrow to import the file. So you can select the location where the file is. My green screen video is on desktop. So I have selected that, select the video. You can also check out the video over here. And once you do that, after selecting the file, select import selected. Now to bring this video on the timeline, you need to select it and you need to drag it over here. Now, one more thing. If I select this particular video, this will be highlighted with yellow uh, outline. And once it is highlighted or once the video is selected, these options will be active. Now, if I click over here, you can see I won't be able to choose any of these options. But to choose these options, you need to select the video first. And once it is selected, you will be able to choose this option. So you can, uh, you can adjust your colors, you can adjust the tone, you can crop your video if you want to, you can make some changes over here. Now, there is no icon over here for now. Uh, I'll get to that later, but you can see there is no icon over here. Now, in order to add or uh, to remove the green screen, first of all, you need to add any particular background. So for that, you can go in backgrounds over here and you can choose any background which you want. Now, if you want, uh, if you have downloaded any background in your Mac, again, you can go in my media. Now, this time you can select this down arrow at the top and then you can import the background which you want to. So now I'm going to select the default background. So let's say if I select this silk orange background, I'm going to select it and I'm, I'm going to drag it over here. Now, before removing green screen, make sure that the green screen video is on the top of your background so all you need to do is you need to select this video and you need to drag it to the top like this now the video length is more than the background so you can select the background you can point your cursor over here when you get this uh, icon two arrows you can just simply select and drag to adjust it right so now we have selected the background and the length is also adjusted now it's time to remove the green screen for now again select the video and now this time you can see you get an additional option over here, which is video overlay setting. So you will only get that option if you have added any background below your video. So select this option. And now the option selected is cutaway. Select this drop down and select green or blue screen. And as soon as you select that, you can see the green screen is removed. Now still you can see kind of shadow over here. If you want to remove that, you can always adjust the softness if you want to. Now again, it is showing grayish kind of thing. So you can go on eraser option over here and you can single click over here and it will remove it. Again, you can adjust the softness and if you think anything is not clear, you can go and erase that particular option from there. So it will remove that. And once everything is done, again, you can adjust the softness of the video. Now, if I try to play the video, you can see I'm able to play the video and the background is added. So the green screen is completely removed. So this is how simple it is to remove green screen from any video in iMovie application in your Mac. So if you find this video informative, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.